guys, welcome back. It's been a while since I've had a video up and life has just been so busy and we've had health issues and just so many things going on that I just haven't been able to get in front of the camera and put my thoughts together enough to share a video with you all. So I just felt like today is a good day for me to bring some ideas to you and say hello again. I'm in the car, of course. I'm on my way to my son's house to help him finish packing out. And this is this is what, what got me to thinking about uh, prepping and my friends, all of you, and what kind of encouragement I can offer today. And my encouragement that I can offer today is don't stop prepping because this year seems to be like it's going to be a wild ride. I mean, we have had so many things happen. There's things going on in our country. There's things going on all over the world that that make you just kind of stop and think wow. something could happen that we least expect, you know? Uh, we're seeing things happening every day that we never thought we would see happening, right? Carry on with your prepping. And if you haven't started um, prepping, this would be a great time to do that. I'll introduce myself again. My name's Brenda. I'm not a big, huge apocalyptic prepper. I don't have a bunker. I don't have weapons. I don't have all the, you know. I am just a person who is 60 years old and life has taught me a lot of things. Well, to begin with, I, Y2K, you know, when we were, we were hearing about the year 2000, you know, Y2K was gonna just be such a terrible thing and um, computer systems were gonna fail and I don't know why, but that really caught my attention and I, I began prepping then. I, I had food stored and I, I tried to get everything my family would need for that year. I went to garage sales. I got winter coats for my kids ahead of time. I mean, I was really paying attention to that. And I got made fun of, of course, you know. And I just really felt it in my heart that I needed to be prepared for this catastrophic event in case it happened. And of course it didn't. Everything everything worked out with that. That ended up not being an issue. But here's the thing. Um, in December, well actually in, go back to September of 1999, my husband was diagnosed with a brain tumor, a pituitary brain tumor. He needed, um, he was going to need two surgeries and radiation. It was not cancer. It was not malignant at all, but it was very invasive and it had already destroyed 60% of his eyesight by the time they found it. So December of 1999, we were in St. Louis. He had his first um, brain surgery. And then in January of 2000, January 6th of 2000, my husband was in the hospital in St. Louis having a craniotomy to remove the rest of, and they, they never were able to remove all of it, okay? But because of that health crisis, my husband wasn't able to work for six months, and I was a stay-at-home mom homeschooling three children. We had three children at home at the time. Our oldest was, I think, 13. Our youngest was um, five, I think, something like that, okay? So that was very scary. I mean, oh my goodness, that was traumatizing for our family. But I was prepared as much as I could be for something like that. I had groceries, I had everything our family, not everything of course, but I had prepared my family for that, the year of 2000. And, um, you know, through all of that scary time, financial hardship, um, multiple trips, St. Louis is a little over two hours from where we live. And in that, amount of time we made a lot of trips to St. Louis. Gas was $1.26 a gallon at the time. And I remember we just thought that was that was just horrible that gas was so expensive, you know. Now I can laugh about that, right? But anyway, at the time I had groceries. I had plenty of groceries in my home. I didn't have to worry about feeding my children. Um, those kinds of things were taken care of. And I cannot 
begin to tell you the peace that that brought to my mind. No, I didn't have a Y2K crisis. The world didn't come to an end. But um, I had a I had a family crisis and, and a life crisis, okay, when my husband was so desperately ill. And um, he was our source of income at the time. And that's been 24 years ago now. So, you know, life goes on. But throughout the, throughout the years, even since then, there have been times when I have been so thankful that, that I have been prepared, you know, in my home. I've got, I try to keep prepared all the things that my family would need in case we couldn't get to the grocery store, in case my husband loses his income, in case someone gets sick and can't function normally. I mean, there's just all of these what ifs that, that life brings our way. Brent and I have been through a difficult several months, even just now. Um, he's still working. Our income is still fine. But life life throws you a curveball every once in a while, and things just aren't quite the same, you know? And if nothing else, at least I'm prepared. I know I don't have to worry about going to the store, getting groceries. You know, it's all there. And that's how I would encourage everyone, no matter your circumstance, no matter what, everyone, please get a storage of food up, you know, even if it's an extra three weeks of food, an extra month of food. In fact, that's how I would recommend starting your prepper pantry. When you go to the store, you know, instead of buying one jar of spaghetti sauce, buy two, you know, instead of buying the ingredients to make chili this week, buy, buy enough ingredients to make chili twice, you know, and put, put one of those aside. That's how you start building your prepper pantry. And um, get a notebook. First of all, get a notebook. I, I am such a, a notebook hound, you know. Um, write it down. Write your plans down. Write your concerns. What what do you want to be prepared for? What do you think your family will need? So just write down, you know, what, what kind of um, situations would you think your family would be dealing with and how do you need to be prepared for that? And it'll give you great peace of mind. And then just in case something would happen, um, you're already prepared, you know, as much as you possibly can be. My son and his wife are going through a life situation, you know, right now that just kind of prompted me to make my video today. I've done a lot of talking to get here, but um, her job has changed and they need to move. Right now they live a little over an hour from us and where they need to move, there are no rental properties available, very few available, and the ones that are available are out of, totally out of budget, out of, I mean, like so expensive. I don't know how anyone would afford to pay that, that amount of rent. Um, so they're having a, a hard time for several months now they've not been able to find a place to move into and their lease is up where they live now so they will be moving in with us this week and i'm sure that's hard for them i'm sure that's you know very hard for them and my house is very small i feel like my house is so small but we do have an extra bedroom we have everything we need and this is why this is part of my prepping plan in case family would ever need to come stay with us. You know, we want to be prepared to reach out and help our family. That's, you know, besides just being prepared for, for Brent and I, I am prepared to help family members, you know, that, that might need help, that might need to stay with us. They might need, you know, whatever they might need. I want to be there for my family and my loved ones. And so, you know, this is a big event. And... Um, I'm just thankful that I'm, I'm prepared for it. I'm ready for it. I'm pretty sure I'm ready for it. Um, they have a cute little puppy and he'll be a lot of fun. And we're just gonna enjoy our time together. So anyway, this isn't a tragedy. This isn't a big negative. Oh my gosh, what are we going to do? Kind of thing. This is a it's a, it's a, it'll be okay. It'll be fine. We'll enjoy some visiting time together. We'll, we'll do just fine. This is not, like I said, this isn't negative. This is positive. I'm thankful that we do have an extra bedroom and I'm thankful that 
that we're prepared to help, to help our family in this time. But I also want to encourage everyone else out there to be prepared and you never know what life's going to throw at you or your loved ones and um, be prepared, be prepared for that. Be ready to help, be ready to reach out and, and help those family members that might need help. You never know from day to day what's going to happen in this crazy world we live in, right? Well, I'm going to end my video now. Hope I haven't rambled on too much, but I just wanted to say hi. I wanted to let y'all know what's going on and to encourage you evermore. Please, please, please keep on prepping. Um, and I'll try to be back with another video really soon. I'm going to say bye for now. And thank you for watching. Hope you like my video. I hope you hit the subscribe button and come back and see what's going on. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.